Hey guys, Brian from Clutch Trick here. Uh, on some of my live streams lately, I've been talking about how I want to start adding in some things like RC to the channel and some real automotive stuff. So today I wanted to bring to you a little project I've got going on. I've kind of been getting back into RC lately, racing some off-road with the Traxxas Slash, but a new thing has kind of come up for me, something I've never been interested in before, and I've just all of a sudden taken a liking to it. Uh, I made a visit to a local uh, hobby shop that does some carpet oval racing. I went in there and those guys were racing pan cars. And uh, I saw a lot of guys that have done this for years, like 20, 30 years. And some of them were even using the same cars from 20 or 30 years ago, like old uh, associated RC10Ls and 12Ls and such. Uh, of course, there were some guys with new cars in there too. But everybody seemed to be running about the same pace. They were kind of competitive with each other, regardless of the age of the car. So I did a little research on eBay. And one of the names that I remember from way back when I was a kid was Bolink. They used to make pan cars and you used to see them in all the magazines and stuff back when people looked at magazines. And uh, so I, I searched Bolink 110 pan cars and I looked at some associated stuff too, but Bolink is kind of what's stuck in my mind, just as this iconic name brand from back in the day. So, long story short, I wound up winning an auction for this little guy right here. It's a Bolink Eliminator, uh, Eliminator 10. So, it's a 110 scale. It's called a pan car. They call these a pan car because the frame, as you can see here, is just flat. Now this guy has had a life already. He's pretty much already uh, raced and given his all and then been retired and probably replaced by some nice new car. And uh, this guy was sitting in the top of somebody's closet for years, I believe. And uh, time came to get rid of him and so he came my way. Picked this up for 55 bucks plus $10 shipping. So can't complain about that. You can see here, it's got some age to it. It's got a little bit of cracking on the body. We've got some damage up here. The uh, the tires are foam. And I'll, I'll take the body off here in just a second. But you'll see the tires actually have cracks on them. The body's just pretty well seen better days. Now this would have been the original body on this car. So you can kind of see, let me get it in the light just right. It's kind of like, uh, just like a generic NASCAR type of body. And there you can see some of the cracks on the wheel or on the tires. These tires are actually foam. So what I'm going to do, I mean, you guys know I, I'm, I work all the time. I have a family. It's not like I can just go throw hundreds of dollars at an RC hobby. Uh, so what I'm going to do is a, a total budget build on this thing. I mean, why else would you get literally a 30-year-old RC car to build? So, some of the things we're going to be doing is not only going through and rebuilding the car, making it usable, but we're going to do some paint work. Uh, kind of a resto mod, in a sense. We're going to restore it, and then we're going to make it usable. So, you can see somebody's painted this body in the past, and they didn't, didn't do a terrible job. I mean, it's not like a knockout professional job. But uh, you can see where they did a little airbrushing, and they... They like came in with the red around the white and we did some kind of like sunset view here on the bottom and some nice 80s splatter paint. Can you see that? Splatter paint on the bumpers. I used to be all into that. <laughs> Believe it or not. So here is the car. I've actually not touched this at all. I've been dying to work on it, but I wanted to make a video for you guys. And I wanted you to see it just the way I saw it right off the bat. I didn't want to change anything at all. So it has been sitting in a box for like two weeks just waiting just for you. So check out the condition of those tires right there. All nasty. We've got dust and fingerprints all over it. It did come with a servo. I don't know if the servo works, but it's, it's at least not locked up. It's got some type of suspension on the front here. <clears throat> the first time I've set up my studio this way so yeah, you can see there it kind of moves a little bit kind of not you can see some gnarliness on the tire and gearing in the back 
I uh, can't see much there. There we go. It's got some kind of little motor that came with it. The teeth aren't meshed up right on the uh, the gears there, so it's got some notchiness to it. Some kind of old shop rag used to uh, hold the battery in, it looks like, with some Velcro on it. You can see there. And these things have a little bit of suspension. It's actually suspended by the frame, this portion of the frame right in here, flexing. You notice? That's actually how it has its suspension. So, not wanting to get into this too far, I haven't taken anything apart, and I'm probably not going to do it on video here. Um, but I have ordered some pieces for it. So let's set this aside here. This is total like eBay budget, super budget build. Uh, sorry, I have had a cold all week and it's nasty. So I have hammered eBay and picked up some things. Now one of the things to notice about these cars, first off, if you wanna go old school RC like this, is the width when you're buying bodies for them finding a body is going to be difficult but I'm going to show you that in a minute so going as cheap as possible I went with a hobby wing quick run 1060 brushed speed controller since we've already got a brushed motor on the car I don't know its condition I've also got a 15 turn cheap like horizon dynamite or whatever it's called brushed motor over here in the drawer Picked up some Fly Sky uh, three channel receivers here. Got two of them on eBay. I think I paid like literally, I think it was like six or eight bucks or something with free shipping. So I uh, don't remember on the Hobby Wing here or the speed controller. Not a lot of money. I uh, probably got like 120 bucks in this whole car total at this point. Now, something I did go to my local hobby shop for, and I want to give them all the business I can, but they are about an hour and a half drive away from me, so local. But uh, I want to give them all the business I can, but at the same time, I got to be reasonable. You know, I'm not going to drive that far all the time for every piece I need. But I did go to them because I'm going to be racing carpet oval with this car. <coughs> I did go to them because I'm going to be racing carpet oval with this car. And I want to know, you know, what foam compounds that they use. These tires are all foam. So I went with some uh, John's BSR racing tires. Front and back. And uh, once I get everything installed, I'm going to go back down there. They've got a wheel truer that's going to help me cut these wheels down and make it all fit underneath the body nice and tight like it should. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, it gave me a pretty good deal on these. I think I paid $31. That's tax and all for all four wheels for controller i had an old dromeda rc car that we picked up at a local hobby shop or we picked up at a pawn shop actually for 25 bucks and uh it's just never been right the the car hasn't been the truck so i have uh changed out some electronics on it and i'm going to pair this cheap little controller to my uh trans or my receivers here and use that but here's the part I love. You know I like making things look good. So what I have done, I spent forever uh, just racking my brain over what body to use for this car. It had to be the perfect body. I had to be happy with it the first time. So what I found is a McAllister's Racing uh, Toyota GTP car, one, number 133, I believe is what it's called. What's so special about this body is the width, like I'm saying with the width of these cars here. A lot of your newer RC cars are like 200 millimeter width, and this sucker is 230 or 232 or something like that. So here you can see this body is one of the few bodies on the market you can still get that will fit this car. So it was kind of a feat to uh, search around and find this. Uh, there's some stuff, Protoform has some bodies that are 235 millimeters. Um, but uh, the problem is that they all just, they were like nondescript. They just look like a little wedge, like a doorstop or something. I wanted something that looked like a real car. You can kind of see there in the light. 
And uh, what was really cool, and I don't like, I don't think they're gonna do this all the time, but it looks like they actually sent me a blim body, this body here, and they also sent me the actual body that I ordered. So I get two bodies for the price of one. Now, don't contact McAllister and beat them up saying you want two bodies for the price of one. That's not cool. But I think it's really cool. You can see that this one actually has uh, some kind of texture to it. Like, like maybe the mold didn't get good and clean or had some static and brought some trash into it. And so this body's kind of a blim. Uh, probably not something you would sell. But I, I really appreciate the fact that instead of throwing it away, they just sent it to me. So now I've got one I can race with and one I can paint and make look good. Uh, to, to fit that wing on there, I've also ordered this associated, uh, can't see it, uh, wing mount kit. That was just like 10 bucks. And uh, thanks to McAllister Racing also for telling me uh, what piece that I needed there. Now, uh, I just wanted to show you, like, I'm all about small business. I'm, I'm all about capitalism and people are working for their own keep and loving what they do and making money and being happy. So... I have noticed when I was searching for bodies that this uh, McAllister company, they were a company that I knew back in the day also, back uh, when I was uh, seeing Bowlink in magazines and stuff, and they were kind of a big deal, had bodies all over the place. Uh, but they've been bought out recently, and it's just like, like a family-owned thing now. So I want to kind of give them a shout-out, and I wanted to show you some things on their website here. So this is a trial. I've never done this on any of my videos where I actually go to like another screen. So this right here is McAllister Racing's website, and uh, you can see it, it's a pretty decent website, but right here, uh, we've got just a basic family-owned company uh, making some cool products and stuff. Sorry, the wheel on my mouse is starting to squeak. Uh, but what I want to show you here is you go in and shop, and uh, if you're dealing with these old-school cars like the Bowlink here, uh, you can't just go to any of these uh categories and find the body you want i had to go into additional bodies now i had to take the fact that my bow link is i think it's 235 millimeters if i rem recall correctly it's how wide it is in the back and i had to do the math to figure that up uh, in inches i think it was like nine and a half or nine and a quarter something inches and it, so i'm looking through here and i see this body i'm like that is the look i want i love that i look over here uh, rear width is nine and eighth inches, so it's right there at that size I need. So uh, I sent them a quick message through Facebook. They let me know they did not have the body in stock at the moment, but they could quickly make one. So that being said, I uh, told them I'd go ahead and order it when I got home that evening, and I did. I got home that evening, I ordered it, I had a tracking number uh, the next day. Or, or, yeah, I ordered it that night, had the tracking order the next day. So extremely happy with that. Uh, while I'm on here, I just kind of want to give them a little more publicity, I guess. They've got some stuff here for some smaller, you know, different scale things. But probably the body I'll be buying next will be this, my Slash. Now, you know if you follow me on any of my Forza stuff or live streams, I like cars and paint jobs that just pop and they're loud and get tons of attention. So when I'm racing RC... I want a car that everybody can look at and be like, oh, look at that one. And what I've discovered is no matter how crazy your paint job is, everybody's paint job is crazy looking in, in RC. So it doesn't matter. So you got to have a body that's different. That being said, this puppy right here is made for a slash. And uh, I think this is the route I'm going to go with. Mount this up on my slash for some of my off-road racing. You know, throw a decent paint job on it. Put the uh, clutch and bones stickers on it. I think that's going to be really cool. So, that's McAllister Racing. They've also got some other bodies for the Slash here. Uh, they they sell like uh, racing accessories, different parts, one twelfth, one eighteenth, all kinds of stuff. If you're into RC, just check them out and, and help them out. So there you go. I just want to show you this little project. Um, we're thinking. I asked some people a while ago on uh, Facebook what you would name this car if you were a, th you know, a 30-year-old RC car that's going to be forced to go and race and die in the ring. 
and uh, all just for the pleasure of some moron that wants to do that to you. <laughs> um, and so far, the best name I've seen uh, on Facebook is someone said Project Pacemaker. So uh, that, that may be what it is. If you've got a better idea, please mention it in the comments. And uh, stay tuned. If, if you're into RC and you're into cars, if you're into car video games, car toys, car art, any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And find Clutch Trick Gaming on Facebook also. You'll see some things I post on there pictures and things I'm doing that you won't necessarily see on the channel so all that being said now um, I have finally gotten this video made that means I can open the doors and let myself work on this little guy and uh, just uh, stay tuned I'm going to be showing you projects as I go through how I do things and uh, maybe even make like a little uh, you know some some cinematography or whatever you call it like music and spinning and tires on fire who knows we'll be doing some fun stuff with it that's what this is all about anyway it's all about fun so thanks guys clutch is out